I got my list. Okay, we're uh, at Kroger. Well, for me, it's pick and save. Um, but we are going to get the ingredients for our mocktails. <laughs> this is a beautiful store. Um, it's actually in the next town over. Uh, the one in my town, <laughs> it really sucks. Everything is in the wrong place, but there's the berries. We're going over there. Look at these beauties. Two pound package. I need one pound, six ounces approximately. So I'll grab this. The strawberries are $7.49. Definitely not in season. Lime, two for a dollar. I have one at home, so I'm just gonna get these two. Here's the cranberry, small bag, yeah, $1.50, not bad. I only need a little. I do make my jelly with this though. Right above the cranberries, we find the ginger, and I just need a little three inch piece. So this will be perfect. Honey crisp apples. These are the best apples ever. My daughter used to have two trees. Uh, they would just like keel over, but they're really fabulous. I just need one for a garnish, and you know, it's okay to have an apple once in a while. Real small one. There we go. One small, beautiful apple. Cucumbers are on sale as well. So, um, I just need a, uh, well, they are, they're only fair. Yeah. I'm only going to get one for the, for the cocktails. Um, get one big one because I can tell these aren't going to last long. Otherwise I would get more. Last item. I need the mint. Of course, it's on the top shelf, and I'm five foot nothing. <laughs> hey. Ah! Oh my gosh. It's the last one. Hey. Goodness. Look at the lettuce. Just gone. We're having problems. I just remembered I'm out of peanut butter. This is the only peanut butter that I use. Oh, it's fabulous, but it is pricey. Even on the Dave Ramsey plan, I have to pay this price for my peanut butter. Last thing, I'm gonna pick up the carb counter uh, tortillas because I think I'm going to, uh, these are really good. Um, I mean, they're authentic, uh, but I looked at the back. Here's the ingredients. Yeah, not so bad. I haven't tried the Aldi's ones yet, but I heard about it. I'll get those next time. Um, but these are four carbs for uh, one uh, tortilla. All right, I need more cooking spray. Look at the difference in price between the coconut avocado and of course the crappy canola. Yes, but I saw this over here. So, the chef's life is this cooking oil for saute, fry, roast, and bake, dressing, aioli, and more. Drizzle, dip, and celebrate. It's pricey, of course, but it is on sale, and it's, it's a pretty big bottle. Look at that bottle. I am going to get this avocado olive sunflower grape seed. So there's my cart. Uh, let's check out. Two small bags. <laughs> Maybe really small. Look what I spent. So it's, uh, what, thirty-two sixty-six, And all of those sales, I only saved $1.22. So they're putting, uh, you know, sale prices up. But look, I mean, I'm saving $0.09 cents on a lime. <laughs> yeah. 
by Honeycrisp Apple was a dollar two. Can you believe that? I saved four cents. <laughs> I didn't save a thing. But here it is, my peeps. Doze. The H is silent. Uh, D-H-O-S. Um, this is the orange and non-alcoholic uh, liqueur. I did go looking for uh, non-alcohol alcohol <laughs> after um, I saw this at Meyer. So I went to our big liquor store, the discount liquor, um, and they didn't have any. They said that there are no distributors in Wisconsin uh, for that carry um, uh, non-alcoholic uh, liquor. Now the reason why um, I wanted to get some. The thing is, after I saw my last video, I'm like, man, I look like I gained weight. Uh, but I, I was sitting down, so I don't usually see myself like that. <laughs> and uh, all of the weight uh, has like moved, now that I'm 58. Uh, it's moved like over here. Because I went to the doctor uh, recently, uh, less than two weeks ago, and um, I had lost six pounds since last year. So, I, I mean, I am right where I was when I ended the 90-day challenge a year ago. So, I've been doing great maintaining. Uh, 160 uh, is my weight. And it, so, it was the same. But I'm like, you know what? It, it shifted. So, this is what happens when you get older. All kinds of stuff starts happening. It's moved, I noticed, to my backside. <laughs> you can see it. So, um, I decided in the new year, I need to cut out uh, some of these calories. I think I need to lose 10 pounds, uh, even though this has been fine for me uh, so far. But um, I think I need 10 more pounds. So I need to cut back on my uh, alcohol calories, because I like my cocktails. <laughs> and this is really delicious. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I like what it says on the back. Revive the 20s. Redefine the roar. At Doe's, the sophisticated flavors of cocktail culture meet conscious drinking. Tap into your inner mixologist. Invent something new. Socialize uh, knowing that you're drinking only the best. Grab a bottle of Doe's and experience an artistic expression of the classic spirits you love, crafted to satisfy your curiosity. After all, it's not the 1920s, it's the 2020s. This is uh, made in uh, Denver, Colorado. So this one is orange. This one is bittersweet rhubarb. I thought this would be my favorite, but it's not, it's the orange. This one is the gin. Um, now, I've never really been a gin drinker, uh, but I would have a gin and tonic here and there. I used to be more so, but uh, more so brandy these days. Um, but these are the three that come in this brand. So far, this is all that they make. And you can find it on Amazon for $25. Currently, I'm getting it at Myers for $18.99. Uh, it doesn't say that it's on sale, but... Uh, the sticker price is $26.99, but it rings up at $18.99 right now. So I think I'm going to stock up uh, before they figure that out. <laughs> okay, let's get started. You don't need to weigh and measure your strawberries. Just use two pounds. That's what I've done here. Uh, I weighed it. I have about 23 ounces. So you want, you know, somewhere between 20 and um, 24 uh, ounces of strawberries, which once it's all cleaned up is approximately two pounds. I got my blender out and everything is cut up. I cut the ginger just like into little slivers, um, as small as I could make it. And then I squeezed a cup of lime juice. Actually, I really didn't. Um, I 
didn't get much juice out of two of these limes. So um, I cheated <laughs> and used one of these. Um, I was still short, so I had to, you know, yeah, use a little bit of my lemon. So our, our uh, strawberry ginger limeade is, uh, has a little lemon and lime in it, which is fine. It's delicious. It's citrus. Okay, so I've got one cup of juice. I'm going to pour in the ginger. All right. Okay, and then the lime juice and the strawberries. Now I'm going to leave just a little bit extra for garnish. My Iona uh, blender, that old thing from the 40s, um, it's, it's kind of small, you know. Everything was smaller back then. Even, you know, the, like the vintage. <laughs> Look at Look at this. This is what used to be a shot glass. Yeah, they are very small. Um, I will be measuring with this size. Here I have the simple syrup. This is Jordan's uh, skinny simple syrup. But you could make it yourself. It's just a, a cup of water and a cup of sweetener of your choice. I would prefer monk fruit. Uh, and just to, you know, uh, heat that up till dissolved and cooled. Um, but I have this and I have not used it yet. So I'm just going to measure a cup and uh, get it into the blender and mix it all up. All right, we're all mixed up now. Um, but before we continue, I just want to talk about the calories. That's what's so great. This is a five calorie drink. All right, so uh, one serving, 17 servings per container. All right, so one and a half fluid ounces is so that's going to be a little bit more than my, one and a half of my little shot glass um, is a serving size so that is five calories um, of course we're adding the berries but you know that's instead of uh you know 100 to 150 per shot so um and then the rhubarb is also five calories and let's see the gin the gin is zero calorie, so it's going to be a pretty low calorie cocktail, mocktail. <laughs> All right, next. This is looking good. I uh, poured the mixture into the pitcher, and this is a one quart pitcher. Uh, so it's half full. I've got my Canada Dry ginger ale and uh, zero sugar. And we're gonna almost fill it up. About a cup and a half, uh, that should do it. It's gonna give us some fizz. Woo! <laughs> it's fizzing away. All right. I'm gonna have to let it settle down a little bit. It's having too much fun. I think that's all it can take. Uh, yeah, it's been about yeah, about a cup and a half. You can see how much um, I used. And I'm just gonna put the top on. I better do it in here. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. There we go. Um, I tasted it, it's really good. Let's put together the mocktail. All right, I've got some ice. Now I only have two little cubes in here because unlike uh, alcohol, you know, it's not gonna kill your ice. So um, let's try the gin. So incidentally, this pairs up good with, I mean, you could mix it with alcohol, of course. Um, so white rum, gin, or vodka. Now this has some good reviews and some bad reviews on Amazon. Now, the bad reviews, I think, are from people who really, really want their gin. Um, they don't want the fake stuff. That's what I'm thinking. It does not smell like gin. You can kind of smell the, a hint of the juniper. But, okay, we're going to try it. Let's grab the little shot glass. 
All right, one and a half of these. I think one is gonna be good. Now the thing about these, the liqueur, I mean, they're very, they're kind of sticky and thick. Um, so it really does go a long way. So let's see if I pour this in my glass. Yeah, for a glass this size, that that's enough. Now I'm gonna put some strawberries in here. Just a few strawberries in the bottom. Oh, dropped one. All right, now I'm gonna pour my strawberry fizz. Okay. My strawberry's getting hung up. Yeah. Just take the lid off. <laughs> I mean, you could strain this, but I don't see why. I don't mind having strawberry seeds in my cocktail. Now look at it. It's beautiful. Mm. I think it has a taste all its own. Um, I think we need to taste this uh, by itself to figure out how we like it. All right. This does not taste like gin at all. But you can definitely taste the juniper. I'll just pour the rest of that in my in my mocktail. All right. I got all my Christmas uh, wrapping done. Knocked it out last night. So today I'm watching Christmas movies. Um, and, uh, you know, hanging out with you guys. So cheers. I'm going to go back to my movie. And then uh, we will come back for the next cocktail. I'm thinking that the gin is all wrong for the strawberry ginger limeade. So we're gonna save that for the next recipe, but I do think that the rhubarb, the bittersweet um, is bitter rhubarb is what they're calling it. That's what it is. Let's try it. This stuff I really like. The orange is my favorite. Sometimes I mix these two. There it is. This has got to be a better combination. Oh no, that's delicious. Okay, so for the strawberry ginger limeade, uh, we're gonna stick with the bittersweet rhubarb. Next drink is the sparkling cucumber mint gin. So uh, we'll see how that goes with the gin. I'm heating up the pan, just a small little saucepan. And we're going to put in one cup of the simple syrup. Whether you get it from the bottle or make it yourself. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Um, we are going to infuse it with the mint leaves, uh, about a handful. I had a big mint bush this year, so it's kind of hard for me to spend money on this when it grows wild out there, but not right now. Okay, let's see. There we go, bunch of mint leaves. We're gonna let that come to a boil, and then uh, we're gonna turn it down, or turn it off, and uh, steep it for half an hour. So meanwhile, I'm going to uh, make a different drink. Now I cut up some lime and some cucumber. And I do wanna put a little bit of salt on the cucumber. But look, I cut up this orange. And it is this blood red orange. Yeah, it's very juicy. This came from Myers. It says, Cara Cara. I don't know. It's beautiful. Okay, so I have a couple of ice cubes in here. And uh, I'm going to stick with 
the bittersweet uh, rhubarb for the moment. It's interesting how these have, you know, corked tops like wine. All right, so I'm going to put one of those in there. Perfect. And uh, then I have this. The Skinny Syrups Candy Apple. Right, okay, so. Grab, uh, I'll do, yep, that's about right. One of those, so one shot each of that. I have never tried this candy apple. This is the perfect time. All right, so now my glass is like half full. I'm gonna grab one of these oranges, beautiful. Put that on the side of my glass. Mm. Wilts down those leaves. Okay, now I have the Diet Cranberry Soda. So, whoa! Wow. That was something. Well, maybe it was bouncing around in the car. I'm gonna fill this up with my cranberry soda. Yeah, so this is the Myers brand. And then let me grab some cranberries. Ooh, that's steaming away. All right, I'm gonna turn this off now and just steep it for half an hour. I'm gonna cut a piece of the honey crisp, uh, stick that in there. Wonderful. Now I'm just gonna put that right in my glass and I will definitely eat that little piece of apple and this orange. Let's try it. Ooh. This here tastes like Christmas. <laughs> That's what this tastes like. All right, back to my mushy movie. <laughs> I forgot the cranberries. I have to put some cranberries in here. That uh, cranberry soda is really good. All right. Fill her on up. I'm, I'm spilling everywhere, but that's okay. I'll clean it up later. There's my cranberry cocktail. Candy apple. The mint has been steeping in the simple syrup for uh, quite a while uh, because I was getting into my little old movie. And um, so I'm just gonna take this little picture there we go, that's all we need. And discard my mint. Mm. It smells really good in here. Okay, I have two ice cubes in my cup. Uh, my simple syrup. Um, I'm going to put a cucumber in the bottom of my glass. Let's see, I'm gonna put a cup, few of them uh, all around the edges. All right, three little cucumbers. Uh, then I'm going to uh, squeeze in a sliced lime. Okay, let's get the gin. <laughs> let's hope that this recipe will do the trick. I need a shot glass. Okay. One shot of the gin. I'm gonna put in more lime. Okay, squeeze it on in. You want like one ounce. Well, I did put some in the simple syrup too. Um, all right. I, this just has a funky smell to it, this gin. Here in my soda stream bottles, this is just chilled 
purified water on tap. So I want it sparkling, so I'm gonna go ahead and carbonate it. Okay. Um, I think I wanna add tonic to this. I mean, gin and tonic. <laughs> That's what it's known for. So I'm gonna add one bit of diet tonic soda stream to my cocktail here. Just give it one turn. All right. I have this infused with a whole lot of flavor, so. Hope. And put one more lime on the edge of my glass. Looks pretty good. All right. The moment of truth. This is, this is okay, but it, you, what it is is, it's a taste that I don't know. So it's that different. Um, I imagine you would get acquire a taste for it. Um, but as of right now, on the first class, I probably wouldn't buy this again. But uh, we'll see what happens by the time I get to the end of the bottle. But that orange is my favorite. So, that cocktail will be next. This is okay, just very different. I came back and made another one of these because I wanna know what I really think about it. <laughs> it's very strange that, um, it's like I don't know how I feel about it yet. I think I could acquire a taste for this. All right, because the second glass, uh, this is better than the first time I tasted it. So I think you do acquire a taste for this. But um, it's very unique. After getting to the bottom of this glass the second time, uh, I can see that uh, once the cucumber, you know, cucumber and lime and mint are so good together. I mean, that's the most refreshing uh, I drink in the summer. Uh, I used to do that all the time. I would drink uh, mint, cucumber, um, and uh, uh, lime all day long uh, in an infused uh, cup. So, um, yeah, this is pretty darn good, but it's better after everything gets infused. So um, I think I would actually infuse it, uh, have it sitting in a, in, in a pitcher for a little while um, before serving. So now I don't normally uh, make these, you know, little gourmet uh, drinks. I generally, I'll take the, uh, I, I mean, I, I act like I've been drinking this for a long time. It's only been a couple of weeks. <laughs> But I, I really love it almost more than uh, than my Corbell and Diet Coke, which is the norm. But um, these are just so tasty. Uh, so they're growing on me a lot, which is great. There's nothing wrong with drinking less alcohol. <laughs> so this is the drink that started it all. Um, so... It's just so tasty. I take the orange. I mean, look. So it's been a couple of weeks, but look. I'm really getting down there. I bought another bottle. <laughs> Yesterday. Okay, so the orange. Oh, just smells so good. Unlike that gin, it has off-putting smell. So, alright, I'm going to put two of these orange guys in here. All right, 
And then I use my, my tonic. And I could use a little of that simple syrup. But this has some sweetener in there as well. But I thought about the mango. So, you know, orange and mango go great together. So I think I'm just going to put in whoop, one of the mango. <laughs> this is really fun. Okay. Grab my cinnamon stick. This is Old Thompson's. I got this at Costco. So let's see how it is with mango. Even better. I mean, it's really good. Just uh, the orange liqueur and uh, the tonic and the cinnamon stick. That's good all by itself. That's how simple I've been drinking this stuff. Uh, so this was a little more gourmet up today. <laughs> the strawberry ginger uh, limeade, that's really good. But this still remains my number one. If you got nothing else, I'd get the orange liqueur. It's so good. Yeah, but the rhubarb is good too. They all have their place. Even the gin and tonic. All right, peeps. Thanks for coming by for another video. Um, New Year's Eve is Friday night. Uh, today's Sunday, so um, we will see you uh, Probably in the new year. I'd be surprised if it was any sooner. You have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.